Hi dear Virgo, a very very good morning to you guys. This is Anjali Tarot and this is a general love reading for all the Virgo, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising. Keep in mind this is general. It might or might not resonate with you at the first place. Resonate with you at the first place. The second thing, the roles can be reversed anytime. Third thing, this is a reading from 11 till the 21st of Feb. So let's start. Virgo, your partner's current feelings for you right now are... <coughs> Two of Wands. This person is waiting, 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 waiting for something, okay? So might be this person have decided something and they are waiting for this something to happen very eagerly, okay? Or it could also be possible that they are taking some kind of decision and they are waiting for the right time to implement this, that kind of decision, that decision what they have taken for you or for this connection as a whole. So let me uh, clarify the two of wands as their feelings for you. Let me see what is happening. Page of Swords, the Seven of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, this person, yeah, this person is waiting for some kind of reaction from your side. Okay, I can see that this person is uh, watching your pictures, missing you, but they are quite detached from you right now. This person is giving you the sense of that, uh, that they are detached, that they are being defensive and mm, they don't give a fuck to you, but they are waiting. <laughs> Okay, they are in this healing process and they are waiting for something. They are stalking you on social medias. Uh, they are watching your pictures, missing you. Okay, but they are waiting on you to take some kind of action. Because I can see that this person is giving you the vibe of uh, not giving a fuck, but they do. This is what I am getting here. This person is right now feeling like... Or it could, it could also be possible that they are waiting for you to, you know, talk to them or reply to them. Because you are being very cold and off deta and detached lately with them. And that's why this person is just waiting. Let's see what you feel for this person, Virgo. Your feelings for this person right now. Four of Swords, you're healing. You are not talking to this person. Yes. Definitely, this is the situation here if this story is resonating with you. So, uh, this person is waiting for an action from your side. They are waiting for some kind of, you know, reaction might be from your side. They might be triggering you, doing something stupid, but you are not giving them the satisfaction, uh, <laughs> the trigger that they want from you and you are healing. You are silent. You are just taking a step back, okay? Okay, let me clarify the four of swords. Page of Pentacles, Three of Wands, and Eight of Wands. Yeah, the, see, you are being si you are silent right now because you feel like talking to them. You feel like offering them something, but you are right now turning your back towards them because you feel like this is not the right time. This is just not the right time to communicate whatever you are feeling. So you are healing. Okay, you are healing because you are feeling uh, that this is not the right time to act upon a situation. Okay. This is kind of waiting game. There is a waiting game going on between you guys. This person is waiting for something from your side very eagerly. You are not taking any kind of action because you feel like right now this is not the right time. You are just waiting for the right time. Okay, three of wands from your side, two of wands from their side. Okay, mostly the same energy mirroring each other but on different levels. Vibes are different. Frequencies are different. Okay, let's see what this person wants from you, Virgo. Knight of Wands, yes, this person wants action from you. For most of you, for so, sorry, for some of you, I feel like this person wants to have a sexual connection with you, a physical intimacy with you. They want a fucking movement from your side. They want you to come back towards them, okay? They want you to take some kind of action. And you are being silent as fuck and they're like, what the hell is happening? They are very irritated. Losing patience, I can see that. King of Wands, lots of Wands energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy is here. Virgo, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I'm getting lots of Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Lots of sexual uh, attraction, sexual tension, you can say, between you guys. Yep. Okay, let me clarify the King of Wands. The Seven of Pentacles, the Nine of Wands. The lovers, the Fool came along with the lovers, so I am going to keep it. So, yeah, you could be dealing with the Gemini here, Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So, uh, this person... 
want some action from your side they're waiting very eagerly again this person is waiting very very eagerly they want some kind of decision from your side okay this person is hurt but they are not ready to give up on the situation okay this person is very very hurt from the situation that you are keeping them on hold and you are not taking any fucking action that is making them impatient and they want to have a beginning brand new beginning with you they want to take the leap of faith with you they want uh, they're waiting for some kind of decision from your side okay they want they're waiting for some kind of opening up from your side this person is highly attracted to you physically as well i don't see cups here the, the i don't know it is good or bad but i don't see any cup in this reading till now so i don't see you guys are very you know emotionally attached to each other i can see mostly this person is physically attached to you physically attracted to you physically very very attracted to you okay on that physical infatuation or attraction this person wants to take some kind of action you know waiting for some kind of action from your side okay okay let me see uh, what you want from this person two of swords this person is on the crossroads they are not able to decide this is two of wands and then this is two of swords okay um you want this person to be clear and honest about what they want they are not giving you the clarity they are not being honest with you might be they are always you know uh, making you feel confused and conflicted you want clarity out of this person what the fuck do you want so virgo whenever uh, let's say this person is me so whenever you are going to talk to me you are going to say what the fuck do you want why are you always conflicted why are you always co co you know confused why are you, uh, why are you uh, always creating drama with me so you just have to tell me what the fuck do you want from me or from this connection you have to be clear with me okay don't be a fucking asshole this is what you want virgo you want balance you want clarity and honesty and the truth nothing but the truth okay let me clarify the two of swords eight of pentacles five of wands and nine of cups yes you want this person okay you want this person to come out of this drama you want this you want to put an effort in this connection this is not like uh, you don't want to put an effort in this connection you do but the drama that is that is attached to this connection is giving you the vibes of i am happily single right now i don't want to work on this connection until unless this person is very very clear and honest until unless their drama ends so this person is creating a hell lot of drama in your life even if they're silent you are feeling the drama from conflict and fights from within I got the 9 of cups the only cup card in this whole reading that is representing me that you right now is trying to be happy with by yourself with yourself okay trying your best let me see what action they are going to take towards you till the 21st let's see seven of wands i don't see a fucking action coming towards you from this person Again I can see this person thinking about you contemplating and working behind the scenes and trying to figure out everything without saying anything it's like I'm not going to take an action but I'm restless I'm impatient okay okay cool Aries Leo Sagittarius Aries Leo Sagittarius energy all over the table if you are not dealing with Aries Leo Sagittarius it is the energy that they are right now in okay very very fiery energy very very sexually attracted and action oriented energy Uh, but I don't see them taking any kind of action. They want an action out of you, a reaction, an action, whatever it is. The Moon, the Three of Pentacles, and the Hierophant. Yeah, this person is hell scared to work with you on this connection because they feel like you will not be able to give them the commitment that they need. Or it could also be possible that this person just wants a casual connection from you, and they are scared that you might ask for a commitment, ask for a commitment, or ask for a long term thing, and that's why this person is scared to reach you. because they are not ready to do what you want them to do this is what i'm getting here so could be dealing with the pisces could be dealing with an taurus the with the hierophant okay this person is hell scared to reach you because they might be not able to give you the commitment or the long term or they will not be able to work with you in this on this connection in this connection um, the way you want it to be what is the guidance for virgo let's see Ace of Pentacles. So the universe wants me to tell you that there's something better coming your way. There's something better. It could be a money opportunity. It could be related to your finances, your business, your money, your job, whatever it is. It is a new opportunity opening up in your life. Just 
read between the lines, read the signals, read the signs the universe is sending you. You have you're having an opportunity coming your way, a brilliant opportunity. The judgment, the emperor, and the ace of cups. Wow, beautiful. This is a new this is a new opportunity in love coming your way. So you have to decide if you want to if you want this you know past energy in your life or if you want to open up to the new energy. So it's up to you. I can see your decision is going to change the equation between you and this person or uh, this decision of you have to stick to a decision. You have to forgive and forget the past. You, you, you have to stop being so judgmental. Okay, you just have to come out of this stage of uh, judging each and everything that uh, the past is having. Okay, so you have to take a decision. The, the, uh, the emperor is telling me that you have to take a decision regarding this new love. If you want new love in your life or if you want the old one. You know, you just have to forgive and forget. Do ho open up on a meditation, Virgo. This will help. Thank you so much for connecting. I'll see you soon in the next video. Bye-bye. Take care. God bless you. Namaste. Namaste.